if you just care about the game, skip to one minute and seven seconds. What's up, cool cats? Good afternoon. It's not Sunday, unless it is Sunday and not the afternoon, but that's only in some areas. What you might be tempted to ask me is, Dominic, what's going on with the space game? Um, I'm abandoning that. I was spending so much time on, like, one mechanic and it took me a month, didn't fix making relative motion. So, I have this new idea that is achievable. I've actually thought out all of the mechanics required. I can actually ship this one. I've been making games for a very long time and this one I will finish. Or you can go beat me up. I will understand. So in this game, you will be in charge of a diner in the middle of a canyon, and people are going to be coming through on wagons, horses, and rock climbing, and you can, like, give them food, charge them money, let them sleep there for money, you can do all sorts of things. I was thinking, maybe you can kill them too. In Blender, I made a 3D model of a canyon, and here I've got the default uh, player script that Godot loads nowadays, but um, I don't notice a lot of climbing mechanics built into it, so it'll be hard to traverse the canyon. Let's see, I'll add some of that. Blech. Okay, it's been two weeks. Um, I spent two hours of that making all of this and two weeks figuring out why it doesn't work, but um, it works now. You can climb up and if you're wondering how it works, it is by... Um, it works. <laughs> Using the power of ray casting. Basically what happens is a line is shot out of the camera and it detects what it collides with and reports that back to you. So we can check if it hit a handhold, which is a unsimulated area 3D node, with handhold written in the editor description. It reads the editor description, and if it is handhold, which it is, then it reports back, yeah, you just clicked on a handhold. So that's how grabbing handholds work, but the thing about climbing up a rock wall is you need to get off at the top, otherwise you're kind of stuck. My first solution to this was to just do the handhold thing again, but a little bit differently, with a box and write ledge in the editor description. But the problem with this is that now I have to place a ledge note at every point along the ledge. Um, and also, I don't know if you noticed, but a ledge is a area, and that is not finitely di divisible. So there's just arbitrary sections that are being cut out, and that doesn't make sense when those sections are invisible, and you're not sure where to click. So that is not gonna work. Since we can't use that, I, I think that we should use ray casting to detect if what it is clicking on is effectively a ledge. It hasn't been told that it's a ledge, but using math, it can figure out if that's pretty much a ledge. My first idea for this was to use a ray cast, and if it detects that it is touching a wall, then it emits another ray cast to detect if there is a floor within a certain distance behind it. On paper, this sounds like a very good solution, but it falls apart when the player is looking head-on at the ledge, because the floor is not going to be behind that. Finally, the solution that is going to work is I detect if you are colliding with a wall and not a handhold. And using the normal of the plane that the raycast is colliding with, you would offset the second raycast up a short distance, and then you have it point directly up on the global z-axis, and then it goes up a little bit and detects is there anything in that area, and if it finds something and the normal of that collision is pretty flat, then it has just found a nice little corner. 
And that's something that you can grab and pull yourself up onto a new surface with. It, uh, you can grab onto ledges now. That's another acceptable handhold that you can do. Now that I've noticed that there's two different types of handholds, one being the ledge and the other being the handhold, I realized rocks are kind of a little more diverse than that. So I made some models for different handholds. And that's the character controller all finished. You can climb up things, everything's working smoothly. I set up an itch.io page for the demo that you can try out. I put some coins in there that you can collect. It's available on Windows, Mac, and Linux. In the next video, I'm gonna be making the AI for the other characters. I guess these days I should probably just call it a state machine, but I am living in the past. Subscribe to get updates on progress and see videos where I figure out how to have a consistent energy throughout it. And have a good day.